Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Semi-meeting Angie of The Media Speaks coming at you today with a different kind of show. Why? Because Google hosed me the other day, and uh, I wasn't able to post. So, um, I did post, but I had no audio. It was an absolute disaster. So what I'm doing, since a lot of you have wondered where the show has gone, is I'm going ahead here real quick and going to give you my experience on how to virtually never get sick. And I mean, like, almost never. Christelle, I've got her on these. She never gets sick. She complains because you have to bother her to take them. I've never seen anything like it. She's never been healthier. But she'll go ahead and, I don't want to take them. But I still take them. She does. And, and you never get sick. If you do this, what I'm about to tell you, you'll never get sick. For anybody that thinks, oh, any minute, this pop-up's going to happen, and he's going to offer you this great deal. No, I'm not selling anything at all. I'm not sponsored by anybody that I'm putting anything out here with at all. These are things that when I started my political show, which, welcome aboard, the correct views, hit subscribe. Go hit subscribe. Thank you. Um... The one of you didn't. No, you did. The uh, It came up when I was checking all these different sites. Naturalnews.com, Infowars, Drudge Report. Different things started to emerge. And I also did a lot of study on Fukushima. And uh, while nothing I'm going to give here is going to save you from all of that, this uh, will give you some help towards those as well, for those of you that listen to that. Um, why not? Yeah, Christelle's got an idea here. Why not start with that? And again... Any brand name that I flash up is the brand name that I happen to have. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not ashamed of it. But they are not sponsoring the show. And I'm not doing this for that reason. I'm not asking you to buy this brand. Um, selenium. 200 micrograms. A selenium per tablet. Um, I, you take one of these a day. I've started doing this because I think it was Dr. Only one. Yeah. I think it was Dr. Glidden on uh, on InfoWars. You can look up the show. Uh, that's one source. I'm going to source these as I remember them. Um, he's one of them. And uh, also Helen Caldicott has mentioned that one of the reasons that Fukushima did uh, uh, somewhat less damage to some of the people of Japan is because of the very high seaweed intake that they have. They eat a lot of seaweed. Um, because of that, their selenium was very, very high. The selenium is an anti-cancer agent. It protects your cells, and uh, in a nutshell, it prevents radiologic, radiological damage to some degree. And as Dr. Glidden has said, according to the FDA, he took it to court and proved that it is not only an amazing element for keeping cancer cells from developing but if you have had cancer prior which thank god and all the saints i have not it is very good at preventing cancer from coming back in other words take selenium so basically it kills free radicals which are basically uh cancer causing and uh, cells. she's very right promotes antioxidant health and again anytime you can do that that's a huge help um i can tell you this uh vitamin water life water do you know of another one great drink it i've switched off pop almost entirely i drink it with rum or soda for most of the country or soda or pop leave it in the comment line um i started drinking vitamin water almost exclusively if i drink rum i do drink pop or red bull with it I work on a club, and I'm allowed to uh, access the non-alcoholic guns pretty much at will. And uh, I'm a DJ. I talk constantly there. And if I'm craving pop, I'll squirt a pop in, and I will enjoy every sip of it. But usually I'm drinking juice or vitamin water or coffee. So giving up pop is another one. Friends, um, this is like the core. This is the one that's most important. It's sold... Yeah. <laughs> it's sold as, uh, as a survival item in organic stores. What is it? It's emergency. Now, there's also generic emergency. Do you know the name of that? Um, not there's a, you don't, I'm not I promoting. Think it might be vitamin C, actually. But, the, no, it's, but it's emergency, <laughs> vital C. Then there's a million of them. The reason you want to take it is, Essence again. Essence C. Essence C is the generic version. If you, if you are looking to prevent nuclear damage, 
Hitting 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C is the number that you are aiming for. The USDA is extremely low on this. Don't even think about listening to the USDA on this. 3,000 milligrams. Look it up if you don't believe me. You can search engine, put 3,000 milligrams vitamin C and get ready to read for the next 50 years. That's the number you're kind of aiming for. Um, intravenous vitamin C treatments have been known to treat cancer. And uh, uh, th there's a lot of studies on this, particularly in Europe and uh, the more developed countries, which, again, unfortunately, America is not. The B vitamins, and I can't even read you everything in it. There's like 25 vitamins in this. You take two a day. And I'm telling you, you'll never get sick. How do I know this? Because when I was growing up, I was sick nonstop. And this went on to my 20s and early 30s. And then I started the vitamin C thing. And I will snowboard in sub-zero temperatures. And I drag her along with me. And she's so happy about it all the time, aren't you? It's thrilled. But you know what? We we almost never get sick. Virtually never. And most of it is right here. It's the uh, two emergencies. I cannot stress enough to do that. Um, cinnamon. I have started taking cinnamon. I take two a day. It says uh, promote sugar metabolism, uh, heart and circulatory health. And it does all of that, thankfully. Um my family has a problem with sugar, so things that can regulate your sugar, since I fortunately, thank God, never had it, I kind of am attracted to that beforehand, even if it just prolongs the inevitable at worst case scenario. Uh, the other thing is cinnamon has these properties to it that promotes healing and cell growth, healthy uh, cell growth, and uh, of course healthy cell death, because if they live too long, they can morph and become cancerous. Uh, take cinnamon, look it up. Also, if you have a cold, Mix cinnamon, honey, and my brother would say mint into as little water as you can dilute it with and drink it. And it, I mean, it will cure you if you do it a few times in a row. A tablespoon of honey and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix it in water. You can warm the water if you like. It actually helps dissolve the honey and it makes it taste a little better. And that's the way she makes it when I'm sick. So there you go. And it works. Um, echinacea and golden seal. It normally, uh, you can get it with or without golden seal. The, the echinacea, it says to take it twice a day. If you're sick, take it double up. Take two twice a day. Echinacea is the other one that is a must-have if you are prone to colds and uh, flus and fill-in-the-blanks. It is wonderful. I cannot stress it enough. Take echinacea. It doesn't matter what kind you take. A calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Now, see, calcium, this one, again, you're going to want to research it before you do it. Because with calcium, I've been told that men can overdo it. You end up with calcium deposits. You can, you can end up with kidney stones. And that is not fun going through Johnny urethra now, is it? What I do is I take two a day, not three. It says to take three. And then I just randomly skip them. And I've had, thank God again, no problems whatsoever. I have taken the most massive falls. Regular viewers of this show know I screwed up my rib so bad that I, I couldn't take deep breaths when I did the show. Guess what? That was like three weeks ago. I'm fine. Fine. Fixed. Um, I fell on my wrist, hurt my tendon a week and a half ago. I'm playing keyboards, and I think in a couple days it won't hurt at all. It's slightly weak now. I can't lift extremely heavy things. I'm 42. What's that mean? Take your damn calcium. Um, One moment. Yes. For people uh, who need it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, Christelle takes glucosamine. Glucosamine and chondroitin. I had my mother on this, but my mother's joints were so bad that when I had found these, and I had to give a hat tip to, uh, I think it was Michael Savage or Rush Limbaugh that had it on their show. Again, I don't agree with everything they say, but I listen. Um, glucosamine and chondroitin, um, it lubricates joints. Uh, if uh, Christelle, for those of you that don't know, is uh, a adult entertainer, bottoms on, tops, uh, not always on. And, but she also dances. She does standing splits. She does pole tricks. She does all kinds of crazy things. Her and the singer of our band, Serenity, both. 
uh, different clubs. Uh, Serenity is always in pain. Like, you'll see her belly dancing, and she's always in pain. Christelle, never. She, like, falls off the pole, and she's like, that was awesome. There's, like, a vast difference there. You end up with certain injuries. Uh, martial artists, boxers, snowboarders, skateboarders. Uh, if you're having, like, some kind of joint issue... I've been told glucosamine and chondroitin are wonderful. I don't take them, but I've heard wonderful things about them. Thank you, Christelle. Um, These two I'm going to do together. Fish oil. If you are eating tuna, seaweed, plankton, things from the sea, Logan's Run, anyone. If you are eating, she knows. If you are by any chance someone who is avoiding fish because you know it's toxic if it doesn't come out of the atlantic you shouldn't eat it if it does come out of the atlantic try not to eat a lot of it um you want to avoid fish like the plague i love seafood and i've almost i've entirely almost stopped eating it it better be christmas or something i really limit it and i limit cheese because it holds cesium um fish oil a lot of times they're grown on private farms. Uh, my friend Dana, Hat Tip Dana, has mentioned you want to make sure that it's mercury-free because a lot of uh, fish oil can have high levels of mercury. And usually it says if it is. It says take three a day. I usually take two because I'm forgetful. But fish oil will get you around a lot of this. Um, you, I get all the vitamins I need from my food. You don't want to eat the food out of the Pacific Ocean because Japan has poisoned it. Fish oil. If you can't take fish oil, I gave it to Christelle, and she broke out like a strawberry. I you ever see uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? I got a blueberry for her daughter. Yeah, well, I had a strawberry for a girlfriend. And this CoQ10, 100 milligrams, you can take it instead of fish oil. I don't take this. She does. It is a little more expensive. It's best to buy it in bulk, she says, which she never remembers to do. But that seems to be the way to do it. It is a little more expensive than fish oil. Everything Just I'm te- a little bit. <laughs> Everything I'm telling you here is extremely cheap except the CoQ10. Um, again, try fish oil first. How do you try it? I'm not a doctor. So what I would do is take one and see if you break out. If you're really concerned about it, then pop the uh, tablet and rub it like a patch test, like you would if you dye your hair, and see if you that break out. That won't always work. Um, what I did is I took it for a couple of weeks, found out that I broke out, and stopped taking it. Yeah, well, and it, found a substitute. Again, and some people might have a worse reaction. So, I mean, again, if you don't have a problem with fish, you should be fine with fish oil. But if you can't take it, don't just assume, well, I ain't going to get those vitamins, and I guess those omegas just ain't going to be there. No, you want to take CoQ10 because this is really good for the heart, very, very good for the heart. And it's uh, it's all the benefits of fish without the poison that Japan has given us. Uh, probiotics, uh, at will. Uh, ladies, odd advice for a, a guy to give, but I swear to God on a stack of Bibles, my dad, would, God rest his soul, was an LPN. I'm not just right on this, I'm incredibly right on this. If you're on antibiotics, and guys, plug your ears, because if you're on antibiotics and you're not taking uh, acidophilus, you're going to get a yeast infection. Hmm, sounds good, doesn't it? Um, unless you're into a bakery. Now, I will say this with the uh, any antibiotics at any time, you want to keep taking these. I take them two or three times a week. Um, if you have a lot of if you have a lot of yogurt, not frozen yogurt, unfortunately, the other yogurt, you have a lot of acidophilus in you. It's not in frozen. They die because of the freezing. Um, acidophilus. It, I've heard from a number of people, including, if you want sources, uh, the health ranger, Mike Adams. One of the problems in the processed foods is that it messes up your flora, your, your good bacteria in your gut. And if you take antibiotics, of course, it kills all the bacteria in your gut. Well, most of the bacteria there is needed in your health system, your health uh, rejuvenation, if it were, as it were, starts with your stomach. So. There's different, it's different for different people. Uh, go ahead and make sure that you look into it. But I'm telling you, friends, it's worth doing. I got three more that I'm going to get to here. I do want to say that this show is sponsored by Mike McLaughlin, who's going to give you a great deal on vitamins. I'm lying. No, I'm not really doing it. I told you I wouldn't. He's a writer. 
He's an absolutely amazing writer, and I am delighted and proud to have him as a sponsor of this show. Check out the t-shirt he got me for my birthday. Mike McLaughlin. He's a writer. He's a very good one. Go to Facebook.com. I hate Facebook. I know I have to use it, but I'm not a fan of it. Mike McLaughlin. Uh, M-A-C-L-A, laugh, L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N. Tell him you heard about his writings because of the correct views. All right, guys, uh, three more vitamins uh, to get to. Brought to you by Change Transportation. If you're within about a 50-mile radius or even greater of Canton, call train, Change Transportation, and they will price match a lot of your fares. Friends, iron supplement, iron 65 milligrams. Now, most people are anemic because you're not getting the proper iron from the foods. A lot of the GMOs are uh, infamous for this. And again, part of the problem is that organic uh, food manufacturers gouge you to death. Don't tell me they don't. For one thing, they don't use antibiotics. They don't use pesticides. Well, guess what? They're saving money on antibiotics and pesticides, aren't they? So don't tell me it's more expensive. Um, again, if a blight hits, you're doomed because you're not using pesticides. But again, how many things could possibly blight in one year? My point being, you're probably not a doctor. My guess is you could be anemic. If you're having trouble with like your your lips and gums bleeding, uh, again, we're going to get to another one here in a minute that will fix that. I used to have that problem. Um, if you feel weak and tired and fatigued all the time, iron. If you take too much iron, you'll know it because when you do a number two, it'll be just a little bit runnier than it needs to be. That means you need to adjust your iron. Um, again, if you're anemic and you take iron, it is not going to help you in a week. In two weeks, you will notice no difference whatsoever. It's going to be it doesn't work. That long-haired Sam is an idiot. Same with uh, calcium. It takes up to a month to build up so you will not see changes overnight. Yes, iron, you have to be patient and with your iron. But iron will help you a lot. You will be amazed at how much better you feel if you feel like you're always tired and always down. And ugh, you'll be much better off. It's uh, amazing. The other one is vitamin D3, 1000 I use. Vitamin D, I will, I will say this because I lived it. I used to have this issue where if I took my gums and rubbed on it like this hard, I couldn't make my gums bleed. And I thought it was, you know, some periodontal disease. So I'm buying all this stuff and I'm flossing, you know, over flossing probably. It's like I'm sawing through my head like a horror movie or something. And once I started taking vitamin D, problem gone. Utterly eliminated. Um, fans of the show will know that about six or seven months ago my hair was red, maybe nine months ago now. And I dyed it, I, I bleached it to do it, and it killed almost all of my hair up to, like, here. It has already grown that far. And vitamin D, you, you want to do your vitamin D. The other thing is vitamin D is, like, with selenium in that it is a remarkable anti-cancer agent. You want to take it. Um, garlic, 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 garlic. I cannot stress it enough that... What it does for your health, what it does for your immune system, how important it is for colds, how important it is in cancer prevention cannot be overstressed. Well, there's one other thing that can't be overstressed. You want these kind, the kind that are in the little gel, like if I squeeze it, it'll squirt. That's what she said. Um, you want these kind, because if you take the other kind, not only will you be helping to save yourself from cancer, but you will never get bit by a vampire because you will smell like you just ate a clove of garlic. Buy the ones that are in the little gel cap. Do not buy the solid garlic. And last but not least, as we sign... Oh, no, low deaf people just got a clunk. Hello. Low deaf. High deaf. Um, what if you do get sick? Oh my God, Sam, I'll tell you what. I got sick anyway. And I took all your advice, and guess what? I got sick. Well, you know what? I work in an adult nightclub, and it never fails. Every girl there wants to make a request, and her voice is going out. So she has to shout 
up at me. And I'm breathing in every, and she's up there every 10 minutes to make sure she's breathing in my face. And I finally get sick. Umka. Now, this is the only thing I'm going to say on the entire show that you have to buy this kind. I have never come across anything, including antibiotics. I'm talking strong antibiotics. I'm talking about the flu, which you're not supposed to be able to cure. Yes, you freaking can. If you, you buy this before you get sick, you need to take it within the first day or so that you're sick. You don't want to dilly-dally around. It's called Umka, U-M-C-K-A. They're made by Nature's Way, who isn't paying me anything at all. But unfortunately, this you have to buy this kind. Don't bother telling them the correct view sent you. Because again, I'm not sponsored and I'm not making anything for telling you this. If you get sick, take Umka. And when you do, take it the way it says to take it. You may want two boxes. You've got to take like six a day. There are uh, in these little powdery things. Now they make it in uh, pill form and they make it in cough syrup. I've found personally this one to work the best. Christelle likes the cough syrup, but I think it's because she likes the taste of it. These are a little tart, but make sure you, umka, if you get sick, you have to buy this and you will be right as rain in, I mean, I've gotten over throwing up kind of strep throaty things in a day or two. Uh, one thing you might, <laughs> well, you should have mentioned, uh, it says that it does something for the symptoms. It says it helps it. Oh, yeah. It, it doesn't no, do no, anything it, for symptoms, but it, you will be over it within three or four days, depending on the type of virus. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it does stretch the truth a little on helping the symptoms. And, friends, that's what I do. That's that's what I take right there. Um, there you go. Uh, does it work? Does it not work? It worked for me. I, they, I God bless Nick Infamous, our drummer. Uh he gave me the nickname Sickly Sam. Uh, look it up. It's a cartoon. Because I was always sick. Now I'm like never sick. And uh, again, I'm Christian. I thank that first. But I'll be dead honest. That's what I do, friends. That's how I almost never get sick. Thanks for listening. Share this video. If it works for you, let me know. Again, uh, a substitute. Play with it. I'm not a doctor. Check with your doctor before you do anything, obviously. But that's what works for me. Please donate to the show if you can. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Go to the mediaspeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle Court D. Lake and myself. And if you're hearing this on Neopa Radio, leave a comment so I know you're there because I'd like to know that you found the show. Good night, friends. God bless.